familiarizing yourself with the types of stages. The first type is the thrust stage. The thrust configuration is the oldest known fixed type of staging in the world, and it is thousands of years old. As the name suggests, these projects are thrust into the auditorium with the audience sitting on the three sides. The fourth area will operate as the locale. The thrust stage area itself is not always square, but may be semicircular or half a polygon with any number of sides. Such stages are often used to increase intimacy between actors and the audience. Next is proscenium stage. A stage where the audience sits on one side only is called proscenium stage. The audience faces one side of the stage directly and normally sits at a lower height. Persenium theaters, also known as picture frame stages, developed during the Italian Renaissance. The audience experiences the theatrical event by looking through a picture frame of a persenium arch. The third is in the round stage. An in the round stage is positioned at the center of the audience. Example, there is audience around the whole stage. This type of stage creates quite an intimate atmosphere and is good for drama that needs audience involvement. Theater in the round, also spelled theater in the round, also called arena stage, central stage, or island stage form of theatrical staging in which the acting area, which may be raised or at floor level, is completely surrounded by the audience. So the last type of stages is traverse stage. A stage where the audience sits on two sides is called a traverse stage. This type of stage is good for creating an intimate atmosphere. A traverse stage is long and narrow with the audience sitting on either side, like a catwalk. As with theater in the round, the audience can see each other, which helps to remind them that they are at the theater and immerse them in the action on stage. Subscribe for more learning videos.